All right, so I've decided to make this a video since this was something that I was confused with myself and um, I kind of wanted to help people figure out how I did this because I was, I spent probably 20 minutes last night trying to figure it out. And then this morning when I was working on this, I figured it out. Like it just kind of like clicked in my head that, hey, this might work. So basically what I wanted to do was take this photo here um, where like, you know, everything is in color and you can see everything. And I wanted to make it so that everything was black and white except for their jerseys. And that I did. So the way that I did this though, it, it was a little bit, it was an interesting process. I've seen a lot of things that said like, go to adjustments, pick out your color and like paint it the color that you want. But with these, since they're so particular and now that I'm looking at it, I think Okay, no. So the 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 way that this picture was taken, I think that this is supposed to be like a cream color, but it looks more white. So it looks white in this photo. But um like as you can see the purple and the yellow and the white really all pop out on Kostas's uniform because it, it should. And I didn't do the wristband for Thanasis or Kostas because I just figured it would make more sense if I did it that way. And Giannis's undershirt was white, so I just left it. But um I do notice there's like a little bit of blue here like from the stadium so like um I'll, I'll i'll get to that later but anyways so to show you what i did essentially was um i made to I, I wanted to make this a wallpaper for a phone so what i did was i went to new document uh mobile and iphone x and that's the artboard that i used i normally don't use artboards but i guess i just did for this one and it works fine so what i did though was um this was my ori my original foundation i added in the actually so this is my original foundation so i added in this photo here and i put it in the middle because when you look at it on a phone screen uh you kind of would want it in like the the middle focus like because it's the first thing you see when you have the lock screen or the background wallpaper wherever you decide to put it on your phone and then i was like well what can i put with it when I did this the first time, I put a Lakers logo on top and a Bucks logo on the bottom because Kostas plays for the Lakers and Giannis and Thanasis play for the Bucks. But I figured, well, it's a picture from the Bucks and I feel like the answer to Kumpo name makes a lot more sense with the Bucks. So I was like, we'll just do Bucks logo on top and on bottom. And also some people on Twitter said that it should be a Bucks logo on top and the bottom. So that's what I did. Um, so I started off with this one on the bottom. And if you're wondering why it's cropped a little weird, it's because there's like a watermark below it. So, yes. Um, and I put it above the layer of the photo because it makes more sense for me to do it that way. I could have put it below, but you'll find out in a little bit why it makes more sense. And then um, we have the one on the top. And that's the same thing. It's cropped where you can't see the watermark. And now I will explain to you why the one on top is underneath the photo. So... To get the black and white effect, what I would do is click on the layer that I want to make black and white, go to adjustments, and then click on this spot here where it says black and white. And what that does is it creates a black and white filter uh, above your photo layer. Um, disregard layer six and new copy. Um, actually, I'm going to delete layer six. That was something I was working with before, but it didn't make any sense. And new copy, I'll show you what that was for. Uh, so. The black and white filter on looks like this as you can see um well hold on a second let me let me hide some layers here because i'm kind of cheating right now so with the black and white filter on it looks like this it makes the top logo black and white and it makes the main photo completely black and white now um before you make the the main photo black and white find out what your color focuses are so in this photo my color focuses were the jersey and you might be asking, how do you get the jersey colors on to like what you're doing? Well, essentially what I did was you use, I used the quick selection tool. And uh, on the top here, you can see where my cursor is. There's a plus and there's a minus and the option to change your brush size. All you would do is go down to your layer, click on it. And like, let's say we want to take out Kostas' jersey by using the plus quick selection tool. You click on it and hold down and you just highlight the parts of uh, like Kostas that you want. So like um, 
for this, I just did his jersey. So I'm actually going to take off the spots where I had his body. So we're going to get all the little parts of the jersey here. And we're going to bring in this part of his arm because we don't need that. We don't need the arm. The arm is not part of that. And then we go back to the plus and we add this here just so we can get the outer parts of the jersey. And up here as well. Because we want to make sure that we get everything that has... Well, I guess we're not going to get that. I, I think I did on the regular one, but if not... I don't know. I'll, I'll show you what I did. But essentially, the, I'm just kind of walking you through how to do it right now. So, then you would... I used the minus part of the quick selection tool to take that off. And then, uh, from here, you would then use the minus tool again so that um, it just has the jersey and the uniform. I don't remember actually, like, how I did this for... Okay, so this is how I did it for Kostas. Okay, it was so it was different how I did it for Kostas than how I did it for Giannis. The reason why is because if you look at how Giannis is standing here, it's his jersey and his shorts are right there. There's no part of his skin that actually interacts with the uniform. However, with Kostas, his hand and his bracelet uh, are part of this, and I'll tell you what uh, what happens with that. And with the Nasus, his arm slash shoulder is in the way as well. So you'll just continue highlighting what you want, and then it does kind of like leak into the bottom here. You just take that off, and then it gets a little bit annoying, and then put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a lot of like messing around to try and get the specific points that you want uh to work the way you want so then you just use the minus tool and go down here i would have just showed you guys the, f the final thing that i did but i kind of wanted to walk you through how i got it that way it kind of works a little bit better um all right so now that i have almost all of his jersey highlighted We'll get the part with this number here. Okay, so now that I have all this jersey highlighted for the parts that I want, uh, you will hit on your keyboard Control J, which will then create a new layer. Now, since we have this layer here, it is we're going to take this, we're going to actually put it above the black and white layer. I'm going to... Uh, so I have the, the layer that I made myself, I have that hidden, but the layer that I just made, I don't. So now we will uh, we'll show the black and white layer. And now as you can see... It shows the jersey and it shows the spot of his hand where we couldn't uh, move around from. Now, do not worry. Getting rid of the color on the hand is actually relatively easy. Um, you can do it one of two ways. You can use the magic eraser tool and then just click on it. Um, that'll get rid of the majority of it. Uh, we got rid of the colors on the bracelet as well. Um, so... Then what you can do is use the regular eraser tool. Uh, it doesn't matter what size. Uh, you probably want to use a smaller size though on a smaller subject like his hand is right here. And you want to make sure you don't get like the color part, like the jersey. Because if you get the jersey, then you're going to turn the jersey black and white or grayscale. And you don't want to do that. So that's why I would recommend at this part using a smaller uh, brush size for the eraser. Um, so I'm just going over the spots that his skin are still showing up and I'm just highlighting them so that they turn to grayscale. As you can see over here, his hand a little bit. So then, oops, then just go back to the move tool and then just zoom out. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons and now you can see, boom, it's, um, uh, it's the color is there and it's in black and white. And now, as you can see, I'm just gonna check my layer. Okay, so mine was the exact same. Okay, so then, as you can see here, I have one set up for Thanasis as well. When I uh, turn it on, it shows the color of the jersey, and then same thing with Giannis. So that's how I got the colors to show up separately. So guys, you can see on this document, this is what they look like with the outline. So like, this is Thanasis, this is Giannis, and then this is uh, Kostas. So, it, it works out pretty well. It's so essentially what you're doing is creating a layer for the picture in black and white. But before you create the black and white layer, you want to uh, quick select the spots on the screen on the photo and make sure when you do the quick selection 
that you have your layer selected that you're working with and make sure black and white's not on because then you're gonna copy black and white uh, uh, parts of the photo and it'll just be worthless. So this way now you can get your stuff that you want for the color colorized and you can kind of toss it in there to add that cool little effect feel to where uh, the colors stick out from everything else. And I added a little bit of an extra blur effect to the background too. Um, so you just click on the layer and go to your blur tool uh, depending on what brush size you want um, I'm not gonna do it right now because I did a lot of blurring in the background you would just go and hold down on the mouse and just pick your spots in the background that you want to blur nice like what I did with the logo up here too so it wasn't so prominent and a little bit of the, the banner and a bit of the scores table screen back here I'll blur a little bit and a little bit of the court you know that type of thing so yeah, so that's how you do the black and white photo um, with color. Um, if there's any easier way to do it, let me know in the comments. Um, I do know that uh, there is, uh, there's got to be an easier way, I'm, I'm sure. But this is the way that I did this morning uh, that I figured out. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel, I feel like this could be a helpful tool for other people who are trying to figure out how to do this at this very moment. Um, if you have any questions put in the comments below. Uh, I'll try to answer them as good as I can. I'm not a Photoshop expert. However, I do know a few things here and there, and I can try to help. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.